بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm going to talk about the glaucoma clinical trials there are a lot of controversies about the optimal way to prevent and treat glaucoma our judgment may come from personal experience expert opinion or published studies the first two factors are liable for human bias on the other hand published studies may be of a poor study design small sample size hence affecting the outcome this led to the importance of the newly developed clinical trials what are the advantages of a clinical trial Cl a good clinical trial should have a good design to answer certain questions with strict adherence to standardized protocols so it can be applied on multiple centers thus we have a large sample size this will increase the statistical power of the outcome this is especially important if the outcome is rare or takes long time to appear as in glaucoma to design a randomized clinical trial, we start by collecting a sample from the population using well-defined inclusion criteria. Then the sample is randomized into different lines like no treatment or treatment one or treatment two. It's better that the intervention should be masked for both the researcher and the patient himself. Then follow up will take place, waiting for the appearance of a special outcome like no disease or disease, progression or stability. And it's better that the outcome variable is measured in a masked way. This is the list of the five major clinical trials of glaucoma that I want to cover. The first is the ocular hypertension treatment study, the early manifest glaucoma treatment, the normal tension glaucoma treatment, the collaborative initial glaucoma treatment study, and the advanced glaucoma intervention study. As you can see here, the number of the, of the centers sharing in each number of the eyes included in each of the studies and the last column shows the time where recruitment was completed now we can start with the first of these studies the ocular hypertension treatment study <coughs> 